stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. Red, 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 red alert. Good morning, Gold Sun Rose. It's I, Thor. Yeah, I'm infamous for Ison, taken seriously for Ceres, but my non pseudoist science is solar. I like to have totally real delusions of grandeur that I am a cross between Val Kilmer's real genius, Bill Murray's Dr. Venkman from Ghostbusters, and Indiana Jones, or the son of Forrest Gump and the Big Lebowski. Set that, and away we go. Good morning, gold sunrose. Sunday morning. It's I, Thor, and we are getting into a regal sunrise. Friday morning. I left the house about 4.15 a.m. in DFW, Texas. So I noticed this morning as I was heading deep east, Venus was super bright and twinkly, which wasn't abnormal. Venus is the closest planet to Earth. And then Venus was gone. At first, full sunlight. She disappeared. So I looked up and was like, holy wow. That is one colorful sky, pink, orange, better, more shadow, whoosh. That's not actually a color. And then when I saw the sun, my mind was blown. When she rose, she was diffuse, demure, pink, and flooding out red. It was red, 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 alert. Wow, look at that. Sun looks like the moon, huh? And some people would be like, that's the clouds. Well, I don't think they make red clouds, do. I totally don't. It looked like a lovely yet dangerous lava lamp. Magic eight ball. So I tried to shake it up in my mind and I said, are you pregnant, girl? But the sun did not answer. So I want to know, man. I have no idea why the sun would be that red. Pollution? Atmospheric diffraction, Rosarita, lens flares, solar postmenstrual syndrome. It was kind of foggy. Hey, what, what, what draws the line between fog and clouds? Like, if you got fog on the ground that's five miles high, the top of that is that still fog, or is it clouds? How do you differentiate? Anyway, the sun looked super unreal. Surreal. It was very comparable to when you go to the top of a mountain and you look around at the mountain range. It looks fake. It almost looks like a painting. And that's what the sun looked like to me. It was crazy. So the other day I said I was gobstopped. And then the sun started getting red, being red, swirling and twirling in its texture. What is making it look like that? Is it red Oxford, comma, iron oxide dust? Docile. Why you gotta perplex me? What do I do to you? Nothing. The footage is gorgeous. And I gotta wonder. Hey, son. Why are you going so crazy? Did you know, back in the day before I was Cool J, I used to hang up on the corner pump the games people play. I don't know what that means. Wow, I haven't done a video in so long. It's like I'm, I'm in love with the sound of my own voice. I'm like, those crazy people who just talk to themselves. No, that's not true. I got like 20,000 other crazy motherfuckers who I'm talking to, I guess, over the internet. What if it's fake? What if you're all fake and Skynet is just doing it to freak me out, make me crazy? Skynet has been known to do things like that. Trust in Skynet, it'll trust in you. And even Skynet doesn't know what the sun do. Why the sun do? So that's it. Call up your local solar scientist. Say, hey man, what the fuck is going on? Unless you're under 18. Then don't use profane language. Because that is a sign of an uneducated persona. I am extremely highly uneducatedist. But one day, when I win the lottery, I'm going to finish my junior high diploma. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I went to college. Twice. Yep. All right. Peace out. God bless everyone. 
Yes, I know this is a serious subject, but if you wanted someone to cover it seriously, why did you come to Thornhills? I would cover the subject seriously that you can't cover anyway. You know? I mean, shit, if the sun's gonna explode, I'd probably make a joke about it right before day. No, it wouldn't be a diarrhea joke. It's just stupid. When you're sliding in through first and your pants start to burst, diarrhea. Diarrhea. Here at Thorn News, we have covered the sun, stable and steady. In my science, I use visual over math, imagination over process, and I do my best to laugh early and often, especially at the theory the sun is 4.5 billion years old and will last another 5 billion years. I like to say, you don't have no freaking clue, dude. You can carbon date the light all you want, but, uh, you know, we can't even find a plane that disappeared two weeks ago. You're going to tell me you know exactly how old the sun is? Okay, champ. Okay, that's it. That's that. And the thing that the sun's going to last five billion years. I guess y'all don't study starfield physics much. Red, 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 alert. Holy crap! Holy crap! That is crazy looking. That's no filter. That's totally no filter. That's super colorful. Red, pink. That is no filter. Fuck. I just missed my exit. Go to south. Whoa. Right. Red, 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 red alert. Gold, sun rose. WTF, NASA dash Earth. And professional science. Question mark, question mark, question mark, asterisk? Seriously, bro. I, Thor of Thor News, be presenting this presentation.